Hi, my name is Paul. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the twin size floor bed. Here I have all the parts. These are the sides. If you have a full side or a half side, doesn't matter. Works this exact same way. Here are the ends. You can tell it's the end because it has this little indent. Here is the middle. This is kind of the backbone of the, of the piece that holds everything together. You can tell it because it has this cool little dovetail slot. A dovetail tab. And then these are the end slats, which are super important to make sure there's no gap at the end where the mattress meets the end of the bed. And then these are the pine slats that go in the middle. So to start, we're gonna grab one of these. You'll notice there's one there's one right and one left. Um, though they're actually symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we're gonna set it on the floor like this. grab one end and we're going to position it so that it is this is down and we're going to carefully line this tab up with the large part of this slot so put it in there and then with your hand holding it carefully you're going to pop it in Pop it in. Then you push it down to tighten it. Do you notice how I pushed down on this guy and this went up and now it's in the narrow part of the slot and it won't come out. And the bottom here, these two pieces are flush. I would recommend tightening this on a hard floor, not on carpet. On carpet, you might not be able, it might not allow it to tighten properly. So now we're gonna do the same thing on this other side. We're gonna lift this up. Notice that it, I've lift, it's lifted up a little bit right here. I'm gonna put that into position, hold it with one hand, and pop it in. Then to tighten, I'm gonna push it down. So now that is fully tight. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to point out something that you may notice yourself. On these end pieces, these tabs are not centered. Um, they're closer to this side than to this side. What that means is when you put it in, if you put it in with the tab closer to that side, then you may see these holes exposed. If you don't like that, it's not a problem. Just flip it around and put it in this way. And then this extra shelf will cover that up. But either way, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect the assembly at all. It doesn't affect your mattress fitting. So the next step is to grab the first end slat. The end slats have this nice little extension that goes out that prevents any gaps from existing between the slat and the end of the bed. You'll bring it in here, slide it in, and then on this side, you just slide it in until it pops in like that. And then you're good. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be slowly moving this way towards this end of the bed, putting in each slat in turn. Um, at this point, it might be helpful to have an additional pair of hands, have another person to help you, just to make sure everything stays together properly. So, we're gonna grab two slats, and we're gonna pop the first one in, and pop the second one in. Notice I have to bring the bed together in order for that to work. Now I'm gonna grab the first bottom. And the bottoms go into these cool looking slots right here. Notice there's two sets. One set is for when you have the sides in this orientation, there's a floor bed. When your child gets older and you flip the bed around to have it, your child have a higher bed, then you'll use the other set of holes. Either way, um, it's designed to work. And so the pair of holes you want is the one with this thing facing downward. So I'm going to put it in the large side and then pop it down. Now it's tightly in place and that's going to hold the bed together. On this other side, I'm just going to just set it in just barely like that. I'm not going to tighten it yet because I want to be able to get these pine slats in. 
So now I'm, I haven't tightened this yet. I'm going to carefully hold this up while I get this guy in. And then get this guy in. And now, at this point, after I put in these two guys, I'm going to tighten this. Now we're going to do the next one. Again, we're picking a pair of slots that has this guy on the bottom side, the small side on the bottom side. Set that in. Tighten it down. Now on this side, I'm not going to tighten it yet. So I'm going to grab my next two pairs of pine slats. And I'm going to. It's important that this thing isn't tight yet before we get the going all the way in. Careful. Hold that in. There we go. If while you're doing this process any of your pine slats fall out, not a problem, just get them back in and try to have another pair of hands to hold them in so they don't fall out. And then I'm going to carefully bend it out so I can get this guy in. And then I'm going to put in my last end slat. Remember, I have this thing towards the end of the bed. And that pops in just great. Now, I'm going to grab my other end, and I'm going to make sure that's tight, and now I'm going to lift it up, pop it in, see how both tabs are popped in now, and then on this side I'm going to do the same thing. Lift it up so that tab's on the large side of the hole. I've lifted this up, remember, don't forget that or you might be a little frustrated. If you're having trouble with this, feel free to use like a rubber mallet, it's not a problem. And now, for the last step, I'm tightening, and I'm tightening. Remember, we don't recommend tightening that on carpet. Um, we recommend tightening that on a hard surface, if possible. If you don't have a hard surface in your home, feel free to maybe put like a little book under there or something so that that joint can get tightened properly. Now your bed is fully assembled. Um, all you have to do is put your mattress on and put the sheets on and you're done. So we hope that this bed can last until your child goes to college. Um, it's a wonderful, beautiful bed and can grow with them. When they've outgrown the four bed stage and need to have a taller bed, um, the way that you flip the frame around um, is you disassemble it, exact opposite steps of ones we just showed here. To loosen this joint, you just have to do the opposite of what we did before we were pushing down on this piece in order to tighten it. Now we need to lift up this piece. I'd recommend grabbing a board or a book, setting it under here, and then pushing down on here to loosen it and then the bed will come apart. To take this out, all you have to do is lift up. It's designed to come out easily just lifting up. Take it apart. Obviously, these things are gonna flip around. This end piece will remain pointing down. This, this little gap right here will remain pointing down. It's designed so that those tabs can go into the side either direction. And then, when it's flipped around, these, this bottom piece, We'll go in the other set of holes, um, but so that it doesn't. Um, it will then reassemble it, and voila, you have a higher bed that has room for storage underneath that your child can use until college.